You've been grinding since you were just a kid. We know because we were there. In fact, Bank of Clarendon has been supporting you and other community efforts since 1932, and we aren't going anywhere. So when you're ready to really invest in your future, we will be here for that too. Dream big. Bank local with Bank of Clarendon. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. My name is Nina Rose Williamson. I go to Thomas Sumter Academy and I do bowling and archery. I started in sixth grade with my brother and it was just something fun that we wanted to do together before he graduated. I thought it was cool because, um, because Merida, the Disney princess, she does archery, so I thought it was cool. I was, I was like getting better and my brother and I did it until he graduated after my seventh grade year. I find the fun and the competitiveness of it. <laughs> in 2017, we got runners up, and then in 2018, we won state, and then in 2019, we won state, and then in 2020, our program was kind of like shot down. Yeah, I started in November when we got back, and it was a lot. <laughs> in 21, we got runners up, and then last year we got runners up again. So we're trying to get for like first place again this year. You know, there's always like the aspect of like family and like not wanting to disappoint your friends or your peers or those around you. And I have a big fear of letting those down around me. And so I just say yes to like everything. And it leads on to like trying new stuff. Coach Mac and my friend Niles, they begged me to join the team after two girls quit. And so that's kind of how that started. You know, I found a lot of people who I just kind of connected with and I stuck with it. I definitely like to outdo myself after I like get a new max. I want to like try to get above that. Last year at State, I had, um, I like, got told that I almost tore my rotator cuff. So I had to like decide if I was gonna keep doing it or if I was gonna stop and let my shoulder heal for this year. And um, <laughs> my mom and I slapped on some Icy Hot and I still shot. And they told me that it was a bad idea and that I almost tore my rotator cuff in half, but I'm okay. But yeah, definitely shooting for state for that day was really hard. You kind of have to stick with it every day, but it, it's fun and um, I don't know, I can't speak for everybody, but like I think that it's fun. Well, I'm co-captain of the team and um, so that's pretty cool, but I just kind of come in here and I practice. I teach new people how to do it and it kind of keeps me sane, if I'm being honest, because like sometimes I just let out my frustrations by doing it. I try to not tell people, but like other people who like come to school here and like they're new, they're like, oh, there's a girl who got shot in the face three years ago. And they're like, what? <laughs> so then I have to tell the story to like new people. I was with my mom and we had just left from here and we had gone home and fed all the animals and everything. And we were going to my family's restaurant to go meet with my brother and my sister and my dad. It was like 5.30 and we had turned onto the road to get to the bar and um, my mom thought her tire popped so she stopped the car and then like three more shots came and so she like drove off and shoved me in the floorboard and like I heard two more and then I was like I didn't hear anything else because my ears were ringing. I came back up and I looked at my mom and she was freaking out and like I had blood everywhere and um, I was wearing my dad's 60th anniversary San Francisco Giants hoodie and my favorite pair of jeans and my favorite pair of Vans. And they cut all of it off of me when we got into the parking lot and I cried. 
And I told them, I was like, let me just take the sweatshirt off. And they were like, no, you can't have anything touch your face. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. When the ambulance finally got there, they were like, can you stand up? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I'm totally fine. And um, I almost fell on my face. Uh, <laughs> it was in December, yeah. Like, that's when we start like practicing for real, for real. And then our first like tournament was that January. And I was allowed to, to shoot in the tournament. And so it was pretty cool. Was it ever discouraging or? Mm -mm. No, I just always wanted to get better and keep going forward.